Hey everyone, I'm Robert McClemon and I will be the instructor for ES 110 this semester. And this is a quick video just to welcome students to the course and to give you a quick overview of the different activities we'll be doing this semester. Got some notes here because there's going to be a few things I want to cover here. First thing is that this is not the first semester I've been teaching this as a remote learning course. We did it last semester as well. I've also taught the classroom version of this course since its inception at Laurier. And what this course is about is it looks at some of the key environmental challenges that we face around the world today. So we look at things like deforestation, uh, desertification, at uh, biodiversity loss. We look at climate change and its impacts and how we adapt to it. Uh, and a bunch of other environmental challenges that we face as well. And we look at both the causes of these problems and the solution pathways that we have available to us. And I take a systems approach, which means that natural systems and human systems are interconnected. That means that changes that occur in one have impacts on the other and vice versa. So as humans start to modify the environment, we have impacts on the environment, but at the same time those changes in the environment have feedback effects or impacts for us. So that's what we're going to be covering over the course of the next 12 weeks. Now ES 110 is a required course for students who are majoring or doing a minor in environmental studies, but it also serves as a good uh, broad-based course for students in other uh, programs to give them uh, some, some quick and uh, but in-depth insights into some of the key environmental challenges uh, that we face today. Uh, so how the course will work, it's a remote learning course, it's not an online course, it's remote learning, that means it's a mix of synchronous and asynchronous content, me and your lab instructors being the synchronous parts. Uh, and so what we've done is we've broken the course up into 12 one-week modules and each module has its own folder of content in the My Learning Space uh, website for this course. And so each week you'll start by going to that folder and the very first item in it will be a checklist of activities to do that week as well as a notification of any upcoming uh, assessments or due dates that may be happening. This is well of course a, an overview course schedule that you will find uh, in the quick start folder uh, to the course. And then what will happen is each week uh, there'll be the, uh, there will be a quick video from me. Some of them I recorded last semester, some I'll record this semester. Uh, then there'll be a narrated PowerPoint presentation. And the narrated PowerPoint presentation complements a textbook reading that's assigned each week. So the, the PowerPoint presentation tells you some of the things that I think are especially important in the textbook reading and adds some content where I think the textbook is lacking in material. And then the textbook itself, it's called Our Environment. It's an online textbook that you will access via a direct link uh, from my learning space. And so in the first week of semester, the Laurier Bookstore will uh, create a link so that you can access the textbook that way. And then some weeks there will be uh, one or two quick other online readings. But generally speaking, each week will consist of the, uh, the welcome video from me, the uh, narrated PowerPoint presentation, and then a textbook reading. So that's the asynchronous content. Now the synchronous content consists of Zoom meetings with myself and or your lab instructors during the semester. We'll meet, you and I will meet twice a week on Mondays and Wednesdays on Zoom where I will lead you through a seminar style deep dive into uh, some of the topics uh, of the week's uh, module at hand. So sometimes that'll be a little bit more like a lecture where I go through some PowerPoint slides, other times it might be more of an interactive activity. And so that's going to happen twice a week each week uh, during the semester. And then you're going to have meetings uh, during the semester with your lab instructors as well via Zoom that I will get to in just a moment because that leads me into how this course is assessed or how you earn your grades for it. And so there's four ways that you earn grades in ES 110. First one is a set of lab assignments. There are four of these during the semester. Now, were we doing the course in person, uh, you would be in the lab room with your instructor. We've modified the lab assignments so that you do them uh, on your own, but with the guidance of a lab instructor who meets with you for about an hour or so to start the lab uh, the lab process. And so the lab cycles start in weeks two, four, six, and eight, and it's a two-week process. So in week two, you will meet with your lab instructor via Zoom, and your lab instructor will send out uh, the, the joining details for the call via the My Learning Space messaging system. And so when you go into your Zoom meeting with your small group of your fellow lab students, uh, then what will happen is you'll go through a variety of activities that the lab instructor does to help you prepare to do the assignment. And then once that is done, 
Once that meeting's done, you have two weeks to actually complete the assignment and to submit it via the My Learning Space Dropbox. This will all become very apparent as the, as the semester starts to unfold. And so these lab assignments, the goal is to give you a, a closer examination of what's going on uh, in the topic at hand, whether it might be on biodiversity or it might be on a different subject, uh, and to get you to practice some key skills that are important for doing environmental research. Second uh, form of assessment is something I'm calling your choice assignments. Uh, and so what it consists of is I've created four assignments that are fun assignments, but at the same time they are serious in that they, they, they take a fun approach uh, in looking at some, uh, some, some environmental issues, whether it's extinctions, uh, whether it is how culture uh, treats the environment, how popular culture uh, treats the natural environment, or uh, a variety of other activities. And so in these, of these four Your Choice assignments, which are posted, the instructions are posted on My Learning Space, you select two of them that you need to do during the semester. And you get to do it whenever you want. The key thing is that there are due dates. The first one is in uh, February in week five, and the second one is due in week nine in March, around March uh, 17th. Um, and so these assignments, uh, they're, they're your choice. They're your ter in terms of what to choose and when to do it, but you need to, to submit them via my learning space for assessment before the due dates. The third thing that we assess you on is some online quizzes. So I've created three multiple choice quizzes that will take place during the semester. Uh, you'll check the course schedule for when those take place. You do them right on my learning space. Each quiz consists of a dozen multiple choice questions. Uh, and you, it takes about 15 minutes to do it, but you have a 30 minute window in which to do it. Um, and uh, what happens is that I uh, count your two best quiz scores towards your final grade. So you do three quizzes, uh, and then I take the mean score of your two best quizzes. So if you got a 10, an 8, and a 4 on your quizzes, then I would take the mean of 10 and 8, which is 9, uh, and that would be the grade that you get um, for your final grade uh, for the multiple choice quizzes, which means that if you sleep in and miss one, or if you're sick, or you just simply have a bad day, that one bad score won't count against your final grade. Then the final thing that you're going to do to get grades is a take-home exam during the examination period. I give the question to students on the very last day of classes. I circulate it by my learning space and via email, uh, and you will have one week in which to complete the final exam. Uh, it takes about two to three hours to complete, which is roughly the same amount of time that it would take in the examination hall if we were doing this course in person. Uh, and it's an ind individualized assignment, which means it's very difficult uh, for you to collaborate with other people on your final exam. And so that's an overview of the course in terms of uh, what it's about, uh, how we assess students in it, and our synchronous and asynchronous content as well. Let me just wrap up by saying that uh, this has been an interesting time in human history, this whole pandemic period. Uh, at the same time, it's a, an important reminder of how uh, human well-being is very closely interconnected with environmental well-being. And indeed, during this semester, we will spend one week looking specifically at how uh, disease outbreaks are linked to changes in the natural environment uh, and how human health and well-being is influenced uh, by the natural environment as well. As you can see, I'm standing in a local forest near my house. Uh, many of the videos that I shoot for this course I do here. I come here every day. Uh, it's a beautiful place. Uh, the forest rejuvenates uh, my health and it rejuvenates everybody's health who comes into it as well. So uh, I would wrap this up by saying if you have an opportunity to do so during the semester, I would encourage you to get out of doors no matter what the weather, get some fresh air, get some exposure to the natural environment. Uh, it's good for you uh, and uh, will make you stronger as you go through the semester. Anyhow, I will wrap that up uh, for now uh, and I'm looking forward to meeting you in an upcoming Zoom meeting.